Cheers. Wow, have I actually forgotten how to give an intro? Last year, everyone went crazy over Bridgerton season two and I had yet to see season one. At the end of the summer, I spent an entire night watching the first season of Bridgerton, fell in love. I think it was more importantly, what I loved was the dresses, the empire waist, everything about it. I just, I became infatuated. You've charmed me. Much like a crow to shiny objects, I cannot stay away from Regency era right now. And about a month ago, I got a wild hair at about 3 a.m. per usual to go on Etsy and I bought a pattern. And this pattern happens to be McCall's M8132 and I have absolutely zero clue how to read a pattern. I have no idea how patterns actually geometrically make sense. Step one was already done. I have the mannequin, I have basically an almost exact replica of my body to be able to pin and drape and see if it fits in general, there's that. Okay, and then step two was, how do you read a pattern? I figured that day one could be going to pick out what kind of fabric I want according to the suggestions on the back of the pattern. And then whenever I get home, I'm going to try to understand the pattern itself and cut out all those little pieces. It's an annual thing when I sit down and I decide to half-ass a dress that may or may not be historically accurate, but nonetheless makes me happy. I didn't do shit for October, so November is naturally going to be my redemption month. There's a lot of pieces and I don't know how to do it. So let's, let's, let's go get some fabric and fudge up a new dress, you guys. <laughs> For the most part, I've gotten everything cut out. The front skirt panel is um, longer than the back skirt panel, and that confuses me a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm trying to process a tremendous amount of insane information. So, but we're, we're, we're gonna keep on chugging. It's Halloween, baby. There's no stopping today. Oh, I forgot I made pie yesterday. It is very early. I am very eager and also realized that in order to properly fit the Regency dress, I have to make stays. So I found a really cool tutorial on YouTube. That is exactly what I'm going to get started on, the stays. I've never made stays before. I'm going to be hand drafting the pattern and everything. So day two, 
making the stays and maybe getting some of the dress put together. So I've been looking over the tutorial and I've been reading the blog post as well and it says that um, wear your top of the shoulder to the middle of the widest point, like the, the midpoint of your breast right there. And then you measure it with a ruler to the middle of your spine. And then you take the measurement, for example, 26 divided by seven equals whatever number you get. And that sum is going to equal the size of your blocks on your pattern. I'm gonna get my measurements. Then I have to lay some trace paper down and make a pattern. I really don't know what I'm doing. We are using centimeters on this. Once you have your measurements, mine are 23 divided by seven equal 3.2. So that's how big my squares need to be. How many squares? I'm gonna look at the pattern. The pattern is 13 by 12 squares. So let's go back into the calculator. I need to have 156 squares in a square equaling 3.2 centimeters width and length. the pattern on it. For the most part, I have everything done. I don't fully trust the gussets on the uh, bust, but I've been working at this all day and I'm not gonna quit now because I guess day three is for sewing the dress. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the seams and the hems, and then I'm probably gonna do the eyelids tonight and go to bed. <laughs> I am finishing the dress today. The pattern is inextricably confusing, but I think with an entire day, perseverance, coffee, and maybe a movie or two, I can do this. <laughs> It's Sunday and today I only have to finish the skirt. Last night I stayed up and I hand sewed the sleeves to the bodice and I can't believe how good it all looks. I can't believe it all came together like that. And then I just had to attach the skirt and put everything on and get ready. So I'd say this project is almost done.
and I will see you in the reveal.